Hello! It's my favorite crafting time of the year, and today I'm going to show you a reversible plaid tree skirt with easy DIY pom-poms that will be the perfect touch to your modern yet cozy Christmas. To me, there is nothing better than a flannel and fleece Christmas tree skirt with DIY pom-poms. And the whites and blacks and grays are neutral, so it will be a great backdrop to make my ornaments really pop. I want one side of my tree skirt to be this tasteful and classic gray and black plaid flannel, but the material isn't wide enough to make the full circle for my tree skirt, so I'm going to have to make two half circles and sew them together. My go-to for making any kind of large circle or arc is to fashion a compass out of a marker and string. Since I want to make this skirt as big as possible, I'm going to find the radius of my circle by simply measuring the string with the width of my fabric. My fabric is folded in half once so that when I unfold it, it will be a half circle. So now I'm simply going to take the loose end of my string and fold it firmly to the corner of my fabric where the fold is. This will be the center of my circle when I'm done. And then as I hold it firmly, I'll use the string to draw my arc. Now I'll simply cut along the line that I drew. And voila, here's my first half circle. Now I have the piece of fabric for the second half of my circle. My fabric is folded the same way with the two open edges on this side and the folded edge here. Now I will simply place my first half circle on top with the folded edges aligned and I will use the top piece as my guide to cut the second piece. Here are my two half circles placed together to make my full circle. Notice that I have made sure to line my plaid up so that patterns on the two pieces match each other completely. Now I'll just fold the pieces together. My fabric doesn't have a right side, but if it did, I would be placing these two pieces right sides together. Now I can pin these two pieces together to sew. I only need to sew half of it together as the other half will need to open to go around the base of my Christmas tree. For the other side of my tree skirt, I'm using a soft fleece with more of a contrasting pattern. It is still neutral in black and white, but the contrast between the black and white will be more eye-catching than the subtle grays and blacks on the other side. The soft fleece will also add a cozy Huga vibe to my overall Christmas tree style. Since my fleece is wide enough to cut my entire circle, I have folded it in half both ways so that there are four layers. Then I can take my flannel circle, also folded in half both ways, lay it on my fleece, and use it as the guide to cut my circle. Confession time. I am obsessed with pom-poms. It's actually starting to be a little bit of a problem. They look great on everything, but they are especially wonderful on this tree skirt. They're so cute, aren't they? I got this cheap one pound roll of yarn at the fabric store for about $7. It's gonna make a lot of pom-poms. I started by putting two chairs in my living room to hold my yarn up. And then I just wrapped the yarn all the way around over and over and over again. I did it about 80 times. We'll see if that makes my pom-poms full enough or not, but you can learn from my mistakes if it's not. Now I'm going to simply tie pieces of yarn in even increments to create what will be the center of each of my pom-poms. I'm leaving about an inch and a half between each tie. You can go farther apart to make the pom-poms bigger or closer together to make them smaller. Just keep in mind that if you do want to make them any bigger, you need to go around your chairs with yarn more so that the density of the pom-pom stays while it's growing in size. Make sure you tie them very tight so your pom-poms don't fall apart later. I want to be able to sew my pom-poms onto things. So I'm going to take ribbon like this and attach it to each of my pom-poms. And that's what I'm going to use to attach it to other things. Let me see if I can show you. I'm just going to slip the ribbon right through where I tied the yarn. I'm going to give it a good tie too. And then this ribbon piece is what I hope to be able to use to sew it onto different projects. Let me do the rest of them and come back. Now it's time to cut them apart and see the magic happen. Take my whole thing of yarn like this, and halfway between each of the ties, I'm gonna cut it. And this should make my little pom-pom ball. And then I'm just gonna kinda trim up my ball here. Just 
just gonna take it and comb it out. And then you can trim it up just a little more. Finding these. They're so cute, aren't they? Look at these perfect little pom-poms. Now you can take these ribbons and just sew it to another piece of ribbon, however spaced out you want it to be, and then you'll have trim made. I am just going to take my ribbon and sew it directly into my material instead of sewing it onto another piece of trim. Look at these perfect little pom-poms, and you can make them in whatever size, color, and quantity you want. The world is your pom-pom oyster. Here I have almost all of my pom-poms basted into one layer of my tree skirt. I decided to essentially sew them into this layer rather than just pin them because I wanted to make sure they didn't shift at all when sewing the two layers of my skirt together. Notice that they are sewn in so that the pom-poms face into the middle of my skirt. It might seem backwards, but this is the way they must be facing in order to be outside of the skirt after we sew the other fabric on and flip them back so right sides are out. I will also be using a walking foot to sew my two layers together to help ensure my fabric doesn't shift. If you haven't gotten a walking foot yet, do it. It will change your life. Now that the pom-poms are secured, I'm going to place my fleece layer on top. Again, if my fabrics had right sides, I would make sure to place the right sides together. I'm going to pin the layers together all the way around my fabric and up the middle slit. I will leave one side of this slit open when I sew so that I can flip the layers back to right side out. Now I need to make sure my skirt has a hole for the tree trunk. I'm going to use this clear glass face as my template, center it in my circle, trace around it, and cut out the center circle. Now it's time to sew. I finished sewing and flipped my fabrics right side out. Here I have my cozy Hugo inspired plaid fleece, or now my classic and subtle flannel. Either way, Helen is probably going to destroy this. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out my website, aloeplum.com, for more ways to DIY better.